What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets, following a excruciating loss once again to the New England Patriots, now 13 in a row, um, in, front, in front of a fired-up, inspired home crowd. And it, it's just disappointing all the way around, man. There is no way to sugarcoat it. You know, as a person that was confident and, you know, boasting all week or just feeling really good about this matchup and how the Jets could win it, I will be eating a tremendous amount of humble pie as Zach Wilson – and this team just melted in the biggest game since 2015. And now we're sitting here with a potentially a win now team and a quarterback problem because it's just, it's a mess. So let's break it down a little bit. I'm just disgusted. I'm annoyed. I don't even really like talking about it. But, um, you know, first half, you knew it was going to be a hard fought game, a lot of defensive battles. But you knew going into the game, the Jets had to get a little bit more creative with Elijah Vera Tucker out and Brees Hall out. James Robinson played a lot, which didn't surprise me. Or not a lot, but I knew he was going to get active early. You saw your Denzel Mims. But, you know, early on, you had the big grab by Garrett Wilson. They got him going. They had a 54-yard catch. You had the Conklin touchdown. The defense was getting sacks. I think it was Lawson, Quinnen, Shepard. They were getting after it. So you're at 10-3. They get a pick six, which brings you to 17-3. But lo and behold, a fucking personal foul on John Franklin Myers. And now it's like, it's just, you can't believe it. Like, you, you've seen it. I, I mean, I know everybody wants to question the foul, but it's like, this is like the third time this has happened with John Franklin Myers. So you go from potentially 17-3 going into the locker room with a tremendous amount of confidence to just spitting it away, and then it's 10-6. Then you figure halftime adjustments are going to be made. The Jets come out at half. I, I think I'm right about this, but they, they did like a pooch kickoff. They give they give the Patriots like favorable position. Like, they got like the 40-yard line to start the half. Then they go out, the Patriots run a ball. Jordan Whitehead makes a big, big missed tackle. It goes for like 34 yards. Lo and behold, 13-10. And then this, then you just sit there as a longtime fan. You're like, how many times we've been this through before? And it's just, Zach just wasn't playing well. The offense was just not in sync. He can't make the easy throws. He doesn't feel comfortable. He's running around. He, he just, and he's got zero recard for ball security. Like he was getting so much credit in the past for not making, for not throwing turnovers. I think the Jets were saying, listen, don't throw the ball. We can win We can win with defense or anything else. You know, just, we'll find a way with Brees Hall to carry it and just kind of manage the team. And this is what we've been saying for three weeks. But I was getting ripped for it recruit, for criticizing Zach Wilson. He hasn't played well in a while now. But they're winning. They're, like, winning is the ultimate deodorant. I say it in every fucking video. He hasn't been playing well. The offense has not been in sync with him. The passing offense has not been good. Lo and behold, you see today the first interception, like he just throws it up. He's falling back on his feet, throws it up, interception. You know, the other ones, he's running right, he throws it away. Just throw the ball away. Like, I don't understand it. And, and to be honest, to be completely transparent, after the third interception, I would have pulled him. I'd be like, you know what? We're done with this. But I know Salah wants his guys to keep fighting, keep believing him. You want to win games, man. So, like, at every point, at, you know, and like, as bad as Zach played, you know, they, everybody else made the mistakes. You had the Jordan Whitehead missed tackle. Greg Zorlein missed a freaking field goal. I mean, everybody, you have, you know, bad penalties, everything else. I mean, I wrote things down. I, I don't even care. It's just, it's just frustrating to watch because you just, you, you kind of finally started to believe in this team. And now it's like, you're going to have just all the criticism. Like, and now Sal said that again, Mike White's going to be the backup for the rest of the season. He said, if Zach got hurt, we want to see what the young kid can do. You know, and then how soon is that going to be? There's going to be, there's going to be a lot of pressure now because, you're going, you're going into a Buffalo Bill game. It's a high-scoring team. That Can you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them? You have any confidence in that? Like, Elijah Moore is an afterthought. They, they, afterthought. they barely even played him today. Denzel Mims had a nice catch towards the end of the game. He had a couple nice grabs. But Zach throws to Conklin. He throws to Carter. He throws to Garrett Wilson, and that's it. Is it scheme? Is it play calling? What is it? But the kid, he looks lost out there. So it, it's just disappointing. Like, I'm not even breaking down anything else. I mean, you have the, the John Franklin Myers penalty was huge. Yeah, I thought the one reception Zach threw, I thought the guy was out of bounds, but they, they you know, I, I don't even know anymore. Like, it's just, this is like, this this loss just stings, man. It's the Patriots. You want to just get this win. You go play Buffalo. If you lost that, you don't even care. You're like, you know what? You're 6-2. and two. You, You're exercising demons. You're doing all these things. And now it's only a matter of time for the finger point is going to start. And Zach's going to get criticized, and he should. He should. This is year two. Like, I'm like, and even in the, in the, in the uh, interview with Sal, the press conference, like, I'm tired of hearing about the fucking defenses. Every defense is good. But you know what you can't do? You can't throw the ball around just recklessly. 
You can't do that. It doesn't matter who the defense is. And at some point, if you want to be a good team, you've got to beat good defenses. You've got to out-scheme other defenses. You've got to figure out ways to win on offense. So it didn't happen. So now what? Now we're, you know, it's, it's an exciting season. It's been a promising season. Great start. I mean, you see good things. Obviously, Quinn and Williams is playing like an all-pro. You see guys flying around. The defense is doing their best. They made some mistakes, some blown coverages. But it's like, for the most part, they, they're keeping in the game. But if your offense can't do anything and you keep throwing the ball away, three interceptions, is it not? it's just not going to work here, man. So uh, this video probably sucks, but uh, whatever, man. I'll talk to you guys later.